So, uh, as a general rule, there are ruses which, uh, deception skills, which allow you to create false information, to hide information from the enemy, like making units invisible, for instance, and the one which steal information from the enemy. As you can see also, the, the interface is very immersive, so we maximize the 3D view. There is no static panels on the screen. You have also these uh, very user-friendly interfaces, so when you select some of your units and you aim at enemy targets, you see this easy target, so you, you don't have to be an expert of World War II to win the battle. The game tells you this is easy, this is dangerous, and it only pops up as needed in the game. So for the final push of Monte Cassino, we're being supported by a flight of, of, of bombers. So it's just one example of the type of units you can control in the game. Tanks, infantry, cannons, artillery, airplanes of all kinds, even battleships and supports. So it's a very deep game in the amount of units, six different factions. And of course, lots of deception skills to discover, to combine. To conclude, I think what is really interesting to, to explain that is that the zoom is not only a technology, technological achievement, it's also the interface itself. When you zoom out, you can see the whole battlefield, and then you don't need a minimap anymore, because you have everything which is clear, which is synthesized, which is uh, aggregated, aggregated, sorry, so that it's easy to read for the player. So, we're going to host more demos tomorrow, if you want to come back on the, on the booth. And uh, you may have the opportunity to meet the creative director and technical director from Eugen Systems. So if you want to have, you want to ask more questions to them, it's possible tomorrow. And I think we're good. Thank you.